Assessing galvanic corrosion risk between materials is easy with Corrosion Gym. Go to the Corrosion Gym website and enter your credentials. Okay, so we consider a environment of 3.5% sodium chloride. So we're going to consider pairs of materials in a number of groups. So for our first group, we choose material 1, described by a substrate, a designation, coating and a treatment. So the substrate can be an element or alloy, we'll choose aluminum. Designation, the alloy 7075T6, uh, no coating and no treatment. And for our material 2, let's consider a stainless steel fastener, 15.5 pH, no coating, no treatment. We save that data and the data is pulled, electrochemical data is pulled from uh, the database. Okay, so we have a lot of information here. We have information about the individual materials. As we can see, the substrate, designation, coating and treatment for the aluminum material one, which is shown to be anodic and the stainless steel in this case is cathodic. So we have the OCPs of each of the materials and we also have the self-corrosion rate. For aluminum we have 18.4 um, microns uh, per year. And But when we put these in a galvanic couple the acceleration rate goes up. We need to look at the galvanic corrosion rate which is actually 123 microns per year. So let's try and reduce that. We might want to use an anodized aluminum. So let's copy the group. So now we have uh, group 2. And we'll modify this group. And what we can do is modify the group. We'll actually make this aluminum uh, boric sulfuric acid anodized uh, with a chromate seal. And we'll keep the stainless steel fixtures. So we'll save that. And what we'll also do is create another group. We'll copy and modify and we shall use uh, titanium. No coating, no treatment and save. So we have three groups. In group one we had the um, regular aluminum alloy which had a self corrosion rate of 18.1 microns a year. Uh, in group 2 we changed it and the anodized um, aluminum has very little uh, self corrosion rate but when coupled with the stainless steel we still have a galvanic corrosion rate of 85 uh, microns a year so then we considered in group 3 uh, changing the fixture systems for titanium and now you can see that the galvanic corrosion rate has dropped very low by using titanium rather than the stainless steel. Thank you.